mainstream media sometimes refuses to admit the obvious. Um, they have their narrative. They stick to their narrative. At least when it comes to MSNBC and CNN, they're generally like corporate Democrat supporters. Fox News, of course, is corporate Republican supporters. Uh, but it gets to the point of absurdity. And you look at stuff like this and you go, well, this is why there's zero trust in mainstream media, that it's at a historic low and it keeps getting lower, right? So um, here they're talking about Dianne Feinstein, and we all know the struggles she's had recently. And look at this brilliant theory from the CNN goons as to uh, why people are so critical of her. Look, I, this has been a, a discussion for a long time because she was out sick uh, with shingles, yep. and then she's been back for about six weeks. I have to very quickly say, I, I covered the Congress for a long time. I watched Senator Strom Thurmond with his staff basically acting as senator, other senators who aged that were male. Yeah. How much of this do you think is that she is not a male? Well, look, that's certainly part of what's going on here. And uh, one encounter that I had over the course of the reporting of the story was Nancy Pelosi. I was walking down the hall with her. She saw another reporter who had written a story about Feinstein, and she said, Think about all the people you've seen, all the men who uh, have been in bad shape. I'm not going to name them, but you know who they are. And so that is definitely a factor here. Feinstein is a, an older senator, one of the women who was elected early in the Senate, mm -hmm. and now is reaching the end of her career in the Senate. That's part of what's going on. It's just because of sexism. It's because of misogyny. That's a big part of this. Every single decrepit, rotting carcass who was male who was still in the Senate, were still hanging on in Congress, every single one of them, people were like, all right, dog, it's time to wrap it up. So remember Robert Byrd? A lot of you guys probably don't. When I was younger, I don't know, it was like a decade ago or maybe a little more than that, um, probably more than that. Robert Byrd is a Democrat, who, by the way, back in the day was literally in the KKK. So he's that, he's so, he's so, he's so old, he was a Dixiecrat Democrat, like the super racist and openly racist ones, and he was still there. And he was in a wheelchair. He didn't know where the hell he was. And there was plenty of chatter about, oh, that doesn't look good, bro. Time to wrap it up. Time to wrap it up. Time to wrap it up. People used to talk about Reagan's cognitive health because, you know, he was struggling with dementia later on as well. So the idea that like, well, when it's a guy whose brain doesn't function, they think that's totally fine. Literally nobody thinks that's fine. Nobody thinks that's fine. But what you're doing here is, I mean, this is like the bastardization of identity politics. It's the idea that you could just, you know, pull the woman card as a weapon to deflect from obviously legitimate criticism. And this is what turns a lot of people off to more reasonable uh, claims vis-a-vis -vis identity, right? Like, I could give you facts about, you know, women's issues or, or race issues where it's like, yeah, there is still a problem. I mean, look at the drug war. It's definitely racist. It disproportionately targets black and brown people, even though, you know, white people sell drugs just as much, if not more, than black people. Black people are more likely to get arrested for it. White people use drugs at the same rate, but black people are more likely to get arrested for it. Like, the li we know these things. We know these things. We know these things. Intergenerational wealth, et cetera. We know these things. So there are real issues there. But when you just, sit, you know, pull out the woman card just to use it as a shield to deflect from the most obviously sincere and correct criticism of all time... You guys look like total hacks, because you are hacks. Let me explain something to you. Dianne Feinstein doesn't know where she is. That's not hyperbole. That's not Kyle trying to juice it up for comedic effect. She was asked by a reporter about the time she was missing, and she was like, what are you talking about? I wasn't missing. I've been here the whole time. They were like, girl, you were gone for months. What are you talking about? You were in the hospital. You had shingles. You had all the complications around it. What are you talking about? You can't say, oh, it's because she's a woman. Because she's a woman, bro. You guys don't even believe that. Come on, you know you don't believe that. She'll sit in meetings, and they'll talk about an issue, let's say abortion, and then as soon as that issue's done, she'll bring up the issue of abortion as if you weren't just talking about it. It's just in one ear and out the other. In one ear and out the other. They won't let her wander the hallways alone for fear of where she'd go, where she'd go and what she'd say. They literally have somebody, like, babysitting her every step of the way. She forgets, she forgets people's names, people who she's known for decades. Decades! Not only is this not fair to the American people, it's not fair to her. And when you pull out 
the identity card in this disgusting and unfair way, you know, you guys are the problem. You guys are the issue. And it's same thing, like, when they used to bring up, use the woman card for Hillary Clinton, like, the criticism against her is just because she's a woman. No, maybe it's because she's immensely corrupt. Maybe it's because she supported the Iraq war. Maybe it's because she supported all the outsourcing deals that shipped our jobs overseas. Maybe there are legitimate criticisms, and you should engage honestly with those things instead of swatting it all aside in a haphazard and brazen way, just being like, well, she's a woman. She's a woman, so. Look, if there are instances where there is a genuinely, you know, sexist, misogynist attack against a politician, yeah, we'll point it out and be like, yeah, that's, that's sexist. That's sexist. This is not that! This is not that! Every single person on the right and the left and the center who's saying, hey man, Dianne Feinstein, time to wrap it up, bro. Every single one of them is sincere and is correct, and they've simply read the reporting on her current state of mind. And by the way, just so you all understand, there's currently an ongoing scam to keep her in office. Yes, I use that word on purpose. Nancy Pelosi is using her, trying to keep her in there like weekend at Bernie's, barely alive, and they're trying to keep her in there. And uh, they're doing it because that's the only way Adam Schiff, her preferred handpicked candidate, has a chance at becoming the senator from California. Because if she steps down, resigns, leaves early, then Gavin Newsom has said, yeah, I, I, he gets to pick somebody to fill the seat, and he says he's going with a woman. He's going with a woman. And I think he may have said, he may have said a black woman too. I don't know. If he did, then like Barbara Lee would be the prime choice, right? They don't want Barbara Lee. They view her or any other woman who might sit in that seat as too progressive. So tell me who's sexist again. What about Pelosi in this instance, right? I want the, I want the guy. I want the white dude. Why? Because he's a bigger corporate sellout than any woman that Gavin Newsom would pick for that seat. So they're, they're playing with her life for political gain. It is so gross, man. Oh, it's so gross. But they have their little sycophants over on CNN, corporate media sycophants, but you must be sexist if you're pointing out that somebody who is sundowning is sundowning. Somebody that has dementia has dementia. If you point out, hey, maybe it's not good that she can't remember a topic from one minute to the next. She doesn't realize she just talked about it. Maybe it's not good she doesn't Remember the names of people she's known for decades. If you point that out, that's not allowed? That crosses a line? That's misogynistic? Please. Please. But again, that's why nobody trusts, this is why nobody trusts corporate media. They're denying, like, the most obvious things ever. Like, I don't even think, I don't know who this is appealing to. Even people who are, like, normie Democrats are looking at this like, yeah, I don't think so. I think you're wrong. Guys, the polls show even normie Democrats think Biden's too old. And Biden, for all of his flaws and how he's not doing all that well cognitively, he's way better than Feinstein right now. So, it's it's infuriating. It's absolutely infuriating. Um, it's hackish. They know it's hackish. They know it's not true. But they're pushing that narrative. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.